Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I want to talk to you guys more about Adobe Fresco, specifically the touch shortcut tool in Adobe Fresco. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's definitely one of those things that is kind of hidden, seems a little bit confusing and you're not really sure how to use it at first. But in this video, I'll show you guys exactly how to use it. So basically the touch shortcut is just a little button on your screen that appears. It's a little circle that overlays onto the canvas. You can move it around and you can essentially access quick actions. So for example, you can change a brush you're working with into an eraser of that same brush. So things like that. I actually use it all the time. I think it's probably one of the hidden gems of Adobe Fresco. So let's jump right in and let me show you guys how to turn it on, how to use it. And let me show you guys the five touch shortcuts that I love to use in Adobe Fresco. So I have Adobe Fresco opened up here and you can see in the top right hand corner the touch shortcuts already showing. But if you guys don't have it turned on, just click on your settings icon on the right corner and then toggle touch shortcut to turn on. And now you'll see it on your canvas and you can just move it around and place it wherever you want. Now I'm not going to go over all of the touch shortcut actions, so if you go to your settings and open up your app settings, just go to the input tab on the left side and then scroll down and you'll see a section that says view all shortcut actions. And then this will give you a breakdown of what everything does, all the actions that you can use with the touch shortcut, and it'll also show you how to use the touch shortcut tool. So basically when it's just a circle, that's the inactive state. If you double tap it, you'll enter the primary action state, and if you tap it again, you'll enter the secondary action state. So moving back to our touch shortcut map, you can just scroll down. There's a ton of different shortcuts you could use. I don't use all of them. I don't find all of them super useful for me or for my workflow, but they might work for your workflow. But let's jump into my five favorite touch shortcuts that I use in my workflow. So I have the touch shortcut tool already turned on. You can see it in my canvas. And for this one, we're going to need a pixel brush. This first one is the pixel erase with brush and you can see I'm drawing here, but I think it's hard to see. So I'm going to actually change this to black instead so you guys can get a better idea for how this all looks. So this is me brushing on my canvas. Now, if I double tap and activate the primary state, I can turn my brush into an eraser. So basically I'm just erasing with the exact same brush. So if you guys want to quickly move from drawing to erasing, this is a great way to do it. If I click on the secondary action, this is just going to give me the brush again. And if I click on it again, it'll give me the eraser. It's great because instead of constantly switching between the brush and eraser tools, you can just double tap the touch shortcut and your current brush instantly turns into an eraser. It keeps the same texture, size, and flow. So if you're using a soft round brush, your eraser will match it exactly. That means cleaner edits and smoother transitions without breaking your creative flow. So the second one is the vector erase with brush. This one's a must know shortcut if you're working with vector brushes in Adobe Fresco. So just like with the pixel brushes, all you need to do is double tap the touch shortcut and your brush turns into an eraser. I deactivated the touch shortcut tool just to kind of show you guys how I activate it during this workflow. I'm just quickly writing my name, just using a simple vector round brush here. And now if, let me just finish this up real quick. Now if I double tap on the touch shortcut, now this will turn my vector brush into an eraser. So basically it's just matching the brush's size and keeps everything vector friendly, meaning your lines stay crisp and scalable. So here is the twist though. If you tap the touch shortcut tool again, you'll activate the trim segment shortcut for vector lines too. It's perfect for quickly cleaning up overlaps and making your line work super precise. Think of it as a digital scalpel one tap and messy edges are done next up is a super underrated one nudge by 10 pixels so normally when you move something with the arrow keys it just shifts it by a little but if you double tap the touch shortcut it moves the selection exactly by 10 pixels at a time this is incredibly useful for precise positioning whether you're aligning text elements in a layout or just want pixel perfect spacing in your artwork it's like switching from a paintbrush to a ruler instantly next up is the lasso add subtract to selection selection tools are really powerful but they get even better with these shortcuts Cuts. With the touch shortcut activated, your lasso selection tool gets a major upgrade. You can add or subtract areas from an existing selection without switching tools. So here's how it works. The active state of the touch shortcut will subtract elements from a selection and then the secondary state will add elements to a selection. 
It's fluid, intuitive, and totally eliminates the need to click on icons or change modes manually. This is especially helpful when selecting detailed areas like hair, fingers, or complex shapes when you need that extra bit of control. And last but not least, multi-select. This shortcut lets you select multiple layers or objects at once without needing to open the layer panel. Just double tap the touch shortcut and then tap on each layer that you want to include in your selection. It's fast, direct, and removes all the fuss of navigating layer menus. Whether you're grouping elements, resizing multiple objects, or applying effects to several layers, this shortcut gives you full control right from your canvas. Okay guys, that does it for the Touch Shortcut tool in Adobe Fresco. If you guys found that helpful, please let me know in the comments and let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I know that this was kind of one of those hidden things in Adobe Fresco. Was it hidden for you? Have you tried it? Are you going to dive into it? Are you going to try different shortcuts? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.